reactivity if the reactivity is increasing that means it is becoming more unstable if reactivity is increasing then elimination will be favored as we have discussed at great length if reactivity is less substitution will be favored so now suppose i have a substrate cl now if i want to get a alkene out of it if i want to get ethene now what should be the reagent should it be most more reactive one or should it be less reactive one now since as you can sense getting this alkene from this alkyl halide meaning we are having substitution sorry we are having elimination that means one of the hydrogen from here and one of the chlorine from here has been removed off that will be done by us so elimination will be carried out by a base bases are more unreactive more reactive more unstable so amide will do a good job here because amide is relatively more unstable but suppose i want to have a substitution suppose i want to have ethanol from chloroethane then as we can see what has happened is oh minus have will will enter into the substrate and cl minus will go away that means it's a substitution substitution will be carried out by a nucleophile so we'll have a oh minus in aqueous medium if you take alcoholic oh minus it will be a base you have to be very very cautious about this it has to be aqueous oh minus then it will act as a nucleophile all right so that means if the reactivity is high elimination will be favored if the reactivity is less substitution will be favored all right apart from that the concentration of that reagent will also matter if we increase the concentration then suppose suppose i have i have by i have controlled the reaction condition by controlling the reactivity in case of sub first substitution now in substitution substitution again we have sn1 and we have sn2 so uh, having substitution will not be enough but we must also know in substitution whether it is sn1 or sn2 now after controlling reactivity we can also control concentration since uh, we you must remember the mechanism of sn1 and sn2 sn2 was a one step mechanism it was a concerted reaction in one step reaction completed in the rds whatever that one step was that was the rds and in the rds nucleophile was present that means rate of reaction will change once we the concentration of nucleophile in sn1 first the carbocation was formed next the nucleophile came in that means in the rds nucleophile was not present that means changing the concentration will not alter the rate of reaction for sn1 so if we increase the concentration once we have moderated reactivity for substitution then on increasing concentration sn2 will be favored so we can reach to sn2 by controlling reactivity and then controlling concentration we can reach to sn1 again by controlling reactivity and then by decreasing concentration if we decrease the concentration then sn1 will be favored right so we can zero down to sn1 or sn2 similarly if we control reactivity in such a way that elimination is favored that means we have increased the reactivity if we have increased the reactivity we haven't seen elimination in depth as we have seen substitution we, uh, but 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 uh, let me say you this and then once when we study elimination we will understand why growing on going on the same ground as substitution again by controlling reactivity if we have if, if we have if we have already favored elimination then if you increase the concentration if we increase the concentration then e2 will be favored as we will see that the nucleophile sorry the base will be there in e2 so if you increase concentration e2 reaction will be favored e2 reaction will have higher rate of reaction if you decrease concentration e1 will be favored right this is to be seen this will be seen that is another one thing reactivity and the concentration of the reagent another factor that can control elimination and substitution would be substrate if you have a 1 degree substrate suppose you have chloromethane no chance of elimination 
right because there is no beta position exclusively substitution if you have haloethane chloroethane or bromethane whatever if you have a haloethane then again it is uh, suppose uh, sorry here it was zero degree in zero degree you have no chance of elimination it will be exclusively substitution and that to SN2 because SN1 cannot be there because the carbocation form will be highly unstable all right now suppose it is one degree when it is one degree then it is uh, very less hindered when it is very less hindered then the access to the antibonding of this carbon will be easy enough then substitution will be favored in case of one degree elimination will be not favored right because hindrance is less substitution will be there and for elimination you will not have E1 because in E1 we have pure carbocation similarly for you we cannot have SN1 here because for SN1 we have pure carbocation because of less hindrance we'll have substitution zero degree one degree gives substitution mostly when we have a three degree halide when you have three degree SN2 is impossible because hindrance will be very much there nucleophile we cannot come close to this antibonding SN2 will not be possible as we have already seen SN2 will not be there SN1 can be very much there if the reaction is so favored SN1 can be there but by controlling the reactivity of reagent suppose you have gone for elimination that means you have increased the reactivity so once by controlling reactivity you have went for elimination by controlling reactivity I mean it is unstable reagent like amide amide is a stronger reagent it is unstable reagent then uh, elimination will be favored elimination will be favored because uh, for abstracting hydrogen hindrance does not matter so for 3 degree we will not have SN2 we may have SN1 but on controlling the reactivity you can reach to elimination we will have both E1 and E2 right now